Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out an awesome 2015 Chevrolet Tahoe LT. And it's hard to imagine what this vehicle uh, doesn't have. I mean, it's just got so much uh, features, and I'm sure it probably doesn't have everything, but it's really blowing my mind looking at this, this vehicle. So, um, Let's check it out. It's rolling on 20 inch aluminum wheels uh, on Continental cross contact uh, tires. And um, they're kind of like a, not a super shiny, but they are like a, like have a little bit of a luster to the wheels there. And that five star pattern and the wheels with the black vehicle and the, um, the privacy glass and all that just an epic looking SUV. Now this is a pretty large SUV, um, but man, will you be be comfortable and safe on the highway for sure because uh, you've got a, you're commanding the road with this thing. So one of the features it has, let me show you the key here. One of the features is remote start. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure it's locked because it will not remote start without the uh, doors being locked. So you push lock and then you almost immediately push and hold the remote start button and it starts up that 5.3 uh, Ecotec engine with the six-speed transmission so now that it's started we can go ahead and unlock it I push an unlock button there so right here in the front you can see it has the projector tubes there and has a little bit of a bluish tint in there, so I'm assuming those are HID um, powered projector headlights. Uh, it doesn't say on the window sticker whether it's HID, but I'm 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 kind of assuming that. So um, if I'm wrong, let me know. And then you got that classy Chevrolet grille in the front, and the overall design of this vehicle is just stunning. This one has the, the side steps pre-installed and um, you know they are fixed steps to go in and out. Some of them have like a, uh, like a power step. This one does not have that. So here's the inside of the passenger door. You can see it's all black except for some white stitching and some wood grain, some dark wood grain there. But everything else is completely blacked out and most everything is soft to the touch. Very soft and cushy. And here's the passenger seat and you can see it's all blacked out now um, these seats are super comfortable I don't know what it is about them but I'd rather sit in one of these seats than a recliner or anything else I mean they're just uh, you know put my back at ease when I sit in there uh, sit in the driver's seat especially and you know it's just a um, it's an amazing how uh, how much how comfortable a car seat can be in a modern vehicle now here's your uh, your controls for your power seat, and it does have a lumbar support here. Uh, this is for the the, the base of the seat, and this is for the back. And then there's your lumbar lumbar support, which helps your back out. You do have uh, some storage pockets just about everywhere. There's one on the side of the console that's made to put like papers and stuff like that. I think that's really handy because when you get in the vehicle, you might have you know mail or something in your hands and. You know, instead of just sitting there holding them in your hand the whole time, you got a nice place to put them that's out of the way. You have a handle to uh, get in the vehicle in case you need that. And you see you've got like uh, the, this right here, this whole design where it comes over here and it's like stitched and it comes down here. Um, that just really strikes me as awesome. Glove compartment. Kind of small for a vehicle this size but um but hey it's got all kinds of other storage so what the heck and it's got that cool that chevrolet badge there on the threshold it's jumping out at you within all the black one thing i would recommend um you know when you pick up your 
New Tahoe is ask the dealer for uh, slush mats or um, you know some heavy-duty rubber mats to go in these they do come with carpet floor mats but uh, <clears throat> it's just that you know if you're getting a vehicle this quality I would go ahead and, uh, and upgrade to those because they really make a big difference so here's the inside of the back door and um, you see you got you know you do have layers of di different pockets there in the door you do have a cup holder slash bottle holder there and uh, your window controls and everything and then you've got the the uh, this captain's chair is back here which is pretty cool because you can kind of go around here kids and stuff can get in and run in the back and get in their seat and all that stuff uh, but you know if an adult or whatever needs to get in it's real simple you just flip the seat down like that and then just grab the strap pull it it's kind of spring loaded or piston loaded so you're not hurting your back lifting a heavy seat or anything it's going to just lift right up on its own and then that way you can kind of you can kind of climb in there to the third row the third row is you know kind of minimal as far as uh your leg room and um you know the seats are you know not the the same thickness of padding and all that stuff so uh for a long trip i guess the third row would probably a little bit be a little bit more fatiguing than the other chairs so just keep that in mind, uh, you know, if you have adults back here, you might want to let them get out and stretch and stuff um, during a long trip. You do have cup holders and stuff, and I think you got a little USB charger over there as well. All right, so putting this back down, you just kind of just push it down, and then you just lift this up. Snaps in place, and you're good to go. Now the back seat drivers, um, to keep them from bugging you, You've got a couple entertainment options back here, so I'm going to hop in and show you those. So right here is a like a DVD screen, and I'm not sure if it's uh, Blu-ray or DVD, but it is does play movies. You can also plug in stuff here um, to these RCA jocks there. You've got audio and video inputs there, as well as a USB SD card inputs as well. So basically you can plug in stuff and play things uh, through the the screen there and um, and they can the people in the back can control that themselves and there's different inputs like as you see um, you know they have the ability to you know however they want to do it plus for audio you've got this auxiliary input there right there so they can plug in their iPod or even their cell phone and plug that in and, and listen to music too on right here we've got a 12 volt power supply on the left side we have a 110 volt uh, uh, Edison plug for plugging in it's like what you would find in your house uh, plugging in like a laptop or you know charging devices it's uh, it's only 150 watts so um, it's not going to power a real powerful device uh, like a hair dryer or something like that but it will um, you know charge laptops and um, and low drain devices for sure and there's some storage space down there now the back seats just me sitting in them and and you know just kind of hanging out back here uh, my, my initial they're not as comfortable as the front seats but they're pretty darn comfortable and I've got decent leg room and stuff the front seats pretty far back so considering you know not everybody puts the seat back that far uh, I do have a pretty good amount of leg room and uh, you know as far as me putting my you know I've got room underneath the seat there and uh, my knees aren't like flying way up in the air now if I was sitting in the third row might be a different story as far as my knees being straight up but um, so anyways you got different options back here uh, people sitting in the second and third row to kind of keep them occupied especially on long trips and they've got some pretty good visibility let me shut the door here so um, I'm the type that if I'm sitting in the back, if I'm, you know, can't really see much out of the window, uh, I kind of get car sick. But back here in this particular vehicle, you've got really good visibility outside. Uh, there's windows all the way around and there's the windows back there for the third row passengers. And that's a big must for me. If I'm in the back seat or in the back somewhere, I've got to, I've got to see out. So this is a very, this is a very comfortable, I wouldn't mind riding back here for, um, for probably hours would be fine um, so I mean this is a really uh, really comfortable vehicle you know for, for being a second for a second row for a second row <laughs> all right so let's continue on the exploration of the Tahoe 
I didn't bring my map, so I might get lost. So back here, we've got, uh, you've got a towing package. You can see you've got your plug there and also your, um, your reese hitch there. Now, these little circles are your uh, backup sensors. Now, they, they constantly put out signals when you put the vehicle in reverse to make sure there's nothing in the way. If, you know, if there's something in the way, uh, it'll beep at you and, and kind of draw your attention that back there. Now, this, this back tailgate um, has two different ways of opening it. Uh, there's two openings, actually. One for the glass. So this button here, I can just double tap that. And it just opens the glass. It just pops it open. You still have to take your hand and lift it up just slightly and it'll lift up. But, um, you know, that way you can kind of quick access stuff and uh, pile junk in there. So, because um, sometimes if you pile too much stuff, everything falls out when you open up the tailgate. So, that's one feature that a lot of vehicles don't have anymore. They just have the tailgate or nothing. So, and the key fob is really good, solid. It feels really quality to me. And it has a separate tag, uh, key right here. So there's a tag, but there's a key. Now, um, it's a key fob, F-O-B, and it doesn't stand for anything. It's actually, uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, what does fob stand for? I know it's a weird name, but it's actually a name. It's not a uh, acronym for anything. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the whole thing. And this is power, so I'm going to go ahead and double tap there. And it lifts right up. All right, so now you can see not a huge amount of uh, cargo area uh, just right off the bat. And, you know, really this is a passenger vehicle, but you can really add some cargo area fast. All you got to do, if you don't have a car load of people, then you just take this, push it like that, and it flops right down. Uh, I'm going to show you how easy that is. Just, just, just lift that up and let go. And it flops down. Now you've got this huge cargo area uh, in case you need to, you know, pick up something at Lowe's or, you know, you're, you're moving and you got some boxes, luggage, stuff like that. Now you could have it to where you've got a passenger on this side and you got some cargo area on that side. Or, you know, however you want to do it. You can have this side up, that side down. So it gives you a combination, different combinations of. Um, your ratio of passenger to cargo so um, so that's pretty neat now somebody's already got the net in here it does come with a car little little net pocket for you know daily grocery getting and stuff like that so uh, but under here is now that it nets anyway um, okay so now you've got this space here for putting stuff that's just kind of out of the way out of sight kind of stuff stuff you want to kind of carry around with you but you don't want it to be cluttering up the looks of your vehicle and also just maybe in the in, you know to where people can see it um, so that's that little cubby hole there so now I can use the key to lower this this tailgate or I can push this button right here and it'll go right down so it gives me options This is where the gas goes in, right here. And um, you see uh, it has a, um, a little plastic string here. And basically you can hook that up over here and it kind of hangs down. So I think the vehicle's turned off by now because it only runs for so long. Um, so, so you go like that, so when you're putting gas in it. So that way it doesn't go flopping around and scratching your nice shiny paint. All right, tighten the clove click, got it. All right, let's get a different perspective from this side here. check this out on the side mirror it's it's completely flush you can't feel this little um, like a bifocal type thing um, but that gives you a wide angle view so you can keep an eye out for um, you know in your blind spot there I think that's pretty awesome I like the fact it's there but you can't feel it that's that intrigues me 
So here's the inside of the driver's door. Now you start to get some really cool stuff. Um, the driver has access to everything. So here on the door, you've got all these pockets everywhere. You got some here, you got some down there. Uh, you got presets for your power seat. You also have an exit mode to where the seat will go back and the steering wheel uh, will get out of the way. Yeah, I don't know if the steering wheel is going to get out of the way. It's not powered, but at least the seat will get out of your way. So, um, so there's your presets there. Your, uh, you've got child locks. You can turn on and off there. You don't have to worry about opening up the door and you know using some screwdriver or whatever to adjust it. You got those power locks there. Um, uh, your child locks. You can you can shut out the back glass so they don't roll up and down. Now the power windows are all controlled right here for by you. Side mirror controls. Uh, you can just choose the side you want and you can adjust it. That kind of thing. Then your power door locks are there. And then I mentioned this has a premium Bose sound system that will vibrate your bones as far as the it'll 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 get you going in the morning I'll tell you that much all right so here's your dimmer switch for your interior lights here's your lights like your uh, headlights and stuff it has automatic mode it has off I like the fact that you can turn it off if you need to um, you've got your lights here for your parking lights and then your headlights four-wheel drive it's easy as turning the knob and you can switch it into four-wheel drive you can have two-wheel drive all the time. You can have automatic. You can have four-wheel drive high. You see it's got the little arrow there. That means high. And then the four-wheel drive low, meaning down low. So that's four-wheel drive high and four-wheel drive low. You do have a trailer brake gain control here. So when you hook up a trailer that has uh, trailer brakes, you can when you plug it in, you can fine-tune those brakes, and that way they match your brakes when you're stopping. Because you don't want to... Uh, it doesn't really help much if the trailer is not braking as much as the car because you still have all that weight pushing against the vehicle um, so you really want the trailer to kind of pull slight the, the the brakes slightly more tiny tiny bit slightly more than the actual brakes on the car just enough to where you're um it's not pushing on the car something like that it's hard to explain but as you can fine tune it there that's what it's designed for now your parking sensors in the back uh, this button here turns those off if you want to turn those off uh, if they're but beeping at you and you know you're getting close to something you can turn them off and that way you're not um, annoyed by it this is your lane departure warning it'll beep at you or if you're going out you know if you start dozing off or whatever and you start leaving your lane without turning your turn signal on you can turn that off you know just in case the lines on the road are, are messed up or whatever and it just keeps beeping at you uh, traction control you can turn that off here as well this button is for your um, your pedals you can move them in and out because when you get your seat situated and you get your steering wheel situated everything's fine but then when you go to drive your those pedals there uh, they just sometimes they feel a little bit too close or too far away so you can kind of fine-tune those there All right, so I can't wait to sit in this seat right here and shut the door. You notice how quiet it got. All these motorcycles and cars driving by and the wind blowing. You shut the door and you're on your own little world. So anyways, um, like I said, the remote start only, it only runs so long. You can restart it, but um, you can only do that, uh, I think it's three times, and basically it won't, you know, won't let you keep doing it all day long. So let me go ahead and put the key in and start it. Okay, so here on the steering wheel, it is a leather wrap steering wheel with some pretty nice white stitching around the inside if you can see that and um, the steering wheel has a bunch of buttons on it now these are safety um, these are most of them are safety related keep your hands on the steering wheel so um, so here on the left you have your cruise control and let me hold this I'm trying to do this one-handed a little bit okay so You've got this cruise control 
and you can you can turn it on and off here with this button you can turn it off on off resume and set and then you can accelerate or deaccelerate there this is a uh, crash mitigation um, uh, button right there uh, it has several safety features let me just show you because uh, it's hard to remember every one of them it's got the for forward collision alert lane departure warning and safety seat alert seat um, so I'm not sure what the seat means does that mean it vibrates the seat I'm not sure rear vision camera um, so basically the forward collision alert if you're getting close if you're like it's gonna alert you if you're gonna get it looks like it's you're running up on somebody too fast and um, so you can you know uh, pushing that you can turn that at different lengths so uh, it can alert you if you're far away or wait till you're closer um, I'll, well depends on your traffic or whatever it might be annoying you if it's you know too far away so that's basically what the deal is there so I'm gonna put it back where it was and so that's what that does button does now on the back of the steering wheel you do have buttons back here and on the back here and on the back this is your volume so I can turn the volume up and I can change to the stations on this side or actually it goes through your favorites so you're not changing through the stations um, so let me turn the volume back down so that way you can if you get your stations um, now if you had a CD track or some kind of audio tracks you can flip through those with the left um, the left switch there uh, it's just it happens to be in the radio which only goes through the presets so right here on the right you've got your voice recognition button here you can also make calls with that uh, I know it doesn't have a phone um, signal on it but uh, uh, image um, but this is for sending uh, calls uh, like say like say you push that and you say hey uh, call um, so-and-so that happens to be in your phone book it'll it'll find it in your phone book and call them for you and you just talk while you're driving and also you can say tune to a certain station you can also say turn uh, go to a specific address there's lots of commands that you can do with the voice recognition you can hang up there too as well and these buttons here uh, correspond with this menu system in the middle of the uh, the gauges there so I'm gonna just you can see it's in the speedometer now I'm gonna just kind of scroll down just kind of scrolling through just so you could see you know kind of what's available to see and it goes scrolls back there and um, so there's different settings now so right now uh, showing your uh, has 185 miles on the vehicle um, and then it says SW that means the vehicle is facing southwest now I'm going to push the left arrow and this gives you more uh, information like say if you wanted to show the navigation uh, you could do that um, and it'll kind of help you guide you through the navigation route now there's no route right now so there's not showing anything uh, you can go into your audio see what station you're on you can go into um, right now I can't go into fun because I don't have anything set but um, so you can change your settings and all that stuff so there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do um, on that particular uh, the, on that particular screen let's go up here to info there we go no nope. let's just put it on audio there we go anyways and then you've got tons of gauges around you've got your speedometer your rpms um, battery voltage coolant temperature gas gauge and oil pressure now notice on the gas gauge it has a little arrow on the to the left of that little um, that little gas pump that's telling you that the gas door is on your left side so that way if you're you know uh, you can know which way uh, to go park the vehicle when you're getting gas right there is your um, your turn signal but also your windshield wipers and all that good stuff now this is a column shifter so you go ahead and you can do that number and put it in reverse and you see your backup camera will pop up here and also your um, your parking sensors as well will turn on and while you have it in reverse 
uh, and you got the, that camera going on, I can turn the steering wheel. You can see those lines on the camera move. Uh, that's showing me an estimated trajectory of the vehicle and an estimated size of the vehicle as it's backing up. This is a wide angle view lens on the camera, so it distorts the size of things uh, as you go out. Um, so as you notice, you know, things are a little bit distorted looking. So that, um, those lines kind of help you clue you in as you're backing up. Now it is an estimate. You don't want to just put it in reverse and just floor it and look at the lines and drive that way. You, you know, you want to look around outside the vehicle to use your mirrors and all that good stuff too. This is just a, another additional, uh, helper. All right. You can also go down here to drive and you can see what what gear you're in where it says drive now if you go down to manual which is all the way down there you can see it says M1 see it says M1 now on the shifter itself it's got this plus and minus when you push plus it'll go up to the next gear but it's it's only gonna go so far out of range and it won't let you really go too far when you're actually driving but that, that shows you how you can change gears uh, if you need to have more control over the shift points of the truck as you're driving. And that's all the way in the manual mode. Alrighty, so here is your touch screen. And uh, you can see it has icons. This is what they call the home screen. You've got this house here for home screen and um, it's 82 degrees outside uh, 534 in the afternoon is the time and then these little icons here kind of show you um, what this does so you got your audio which is your radio and and of course you can play music other ways besides the radio like your bluetooth and stuff um, you also have your phone which this one doesn't have one paired but once you have it paired you got your contacts recent calls keypad you could do voicemail all kinds of cool stuff your navigation icon goes to your map and you can also put in a specific destination there and um, you know and you can zoom out zoom in uh, that kind of stuff and this will go into um, your audio disc and I was surprised 2015 model still has a CD player but hey some people might use them now it also goes to the uh, the video too so that's the I'm sorry this is the video this has the CD is actually located in this section. This is for your video disc. So that's that's that. Sorry for that mix up. And this will be your weather. So it kind of gives you a weather map in a um, like a uh, like a um, forecast too, which is pretty cool. Hourly, 36 hour, daily, all that good stuff. Gives you an overlay. Today's a nice clear day, so there's not much, there's no clouds to see hardly on the, on the map there. So another cool thing about this touchscreen, let's just say, just for the sake of me and you and nobody else listening, that you wanted to hide something and you didn't want nobody to find it. Well, check this out. In here, you can put something, and nobody's going to know it's there. Now. See, I put that in there. That's my cell phone, and it's actually got a charger in there too. So I could put my, um, you know, put stuff in there and close it down, and nobody would ever know the stuff's in there. So let me go get my phone out before I forget it's in there. But um, but that's a pretty cool thing. It is a, um, you know, a felt lined, pretty good size um, area in there with a USB um, port back in there. It's I think that's pretty cool. A good idea to utilize the space behind the uh, the touchscreen that would otherwise get unused. It would be cool if the screen stayed on as it went up, so that way you can change the position if you wanted to. So down here you've got the volume control, um, your radio, your home button, your back button, that button I just showed you. Eject the CD and then change to the tracks there. Uh, you can um, change through the stations this way down here is your climate control and it's pretty involved because you've got like a tri-zone climate system so you got your driver there your passenger there you can sync them 
or they're both the same if you wanted to unsync them the passenger just starts changing their temperature and it will unsync and they can you know kind of get the the temperature that they want now the rear climate control uh, is can be controlled here or in the back so um, so you can lock out the rear control with this button here so that way um, you know you might have some unhappy people back there but and you can control it yourself or like say if you got kids or something and you know you're just going to control it for them uh, that's kind of what the the deal is there now this is air conditioning where you want the air to blow and then your fan speed you can also talk, turn the climate control off with that button as well heated seats you've got um, the buttons on this side uh, and that side for the driver and passenger and you notice it has the little um, the little uh, heat signature things there you can have it um, at different levels but also in different places so you can have it both top and bottom of the seat just the back of the seat um, you know it gives you all those options I think it's pretty cool and that's the same thing for the passenger as well so um, this is the kind of plot spot when I got in I thought well that must be the place to put a cell phone it seems to work out pretty good especially considering you got a power supply there and you got two USBs so actually two people can put their cell phones there charge them if they need to and you can also play music through the USB ports as well nice big cup holders um, you know you can put cell phones in there you can put any, any you know, anything you want there now here is a armrest of course it also has a center thing for putting stuff and um, but also this lifts up and you got this big place to put a whole bunch of junk and it's gonna clutter up fast so I'm just warning you right now um, you know watch yourself try to try to try not to clutter it up too much because then you won't be able to find anything but um, but there is a, a power supply there also you got these little pockets on top so you can quick access and you also have a SD card two USBs and, and an auxiliary input over there and that is for um, you know basically uh, playing music through the sound system you can also charge stuff with the USBs all that good stuff and you do have a little storage pocket just like on the other side um, on the driver's side as well uh, for putting stuff alrighty rear view mirror it does have an auto dim feature there's the light sensor there and uh, the back the light behind is kind of there we go um, does have OnStar uh, with the emergency assistance and all that and the the um, the auto dim feature will uh, basically dim the rearview mirror so people behind you with the bright lights on don't blind you up here we've got some uh, some little LED lights there for just some spot you know spot places you also have um, your garage door openers there and um, now this right here is a pretty interesting thing this is for and get a good view of it you see that right there where it says max three quarter and off that is the height of the tailgate so like say if you have a garage that has kind of a low ceiling or if you got stuff stored or if the garage door kind of is a little bit low you can make it so uh, it only goes up three quarters of a way and it doesn't actually lift up and hit something so uh, keep that in mind and then your lights there you can adjust them to where they come on with the door or not this right here is for your your um, sunroof which it has a manual slide and then you can you can tilt it like that or you can slide it I guess you have to hold it now I hold it you gotta push a little bit harder it opens right up so that way I can give you some fresh air like so and also there's a place to put some shades right in there it's kind of small um, seems kind of small some people have really big sunglasses but anyway um, a little pocket there for your glass sunglasses a little bit small now it does have a conversation mirror like that so you can keep an eye on the backseat drivers visor has me has a mirror it also has these little lights that slowly come on they look like LEDs or something see if that does the same thing on the other side yep same thing on the other side alrighty 
So, let's take a look back here. I don't want to get out of the seat, it's too comfortable. It's got the 5.3 liter V8 Ecotec 3, which I forgot to mention that. All right, let's take a look under the hood. They, got a, they tried to cover it up with plastic, but you can still see it. Five point three liter. And Chevrolet is one of the most reliable vehicles on the road. I just want to mention that. Um, and they hold their value very well. Pretty smooth, quiet engine. All right. There you have it. I'm at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Ronald Beach, South Carolina. And if you have any questions, if you're interested in a vehicle like this, I'm glad. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you with it. Um, and I really appreciate Judd Coon. The staff here is really knowledgeable and amazing and friendly. And I can't recommend them enough. And I uh, appreciate you watching. If you could, subscribe to my channel, share the videos. And if you can support my channel, I'm trying to increase the quality and frequency of the videos. So I'd really appreciate some support. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time.